Hey everyone, it's Jason here. Um, I know it's been a while since the last time I posted a YouTube video. Um, it's not that I have stopped making videos. I have been, I've been making them for my Patreon page, but um, I just haven't been posting them on here. But it's time that I started um, to revive my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be another one of my digital time-lapse painting videos. I usually don't voice these, but um, I decided to give it a try. So this video is unscripted, so I might my thoughts might be like a little all over the place, so bear with me here. Um, as usual with all of my digital paintings, I start with some kind of sketch. Sometimes I like to do uh, I like to block in shapes, but this time I'm doing a black and white line art. If I plan on doing um, a more finished and detailed piece, I usually go with the line art because that allows me to um, define the shapes more, everything more clearly. As you can see here, right after I finish the line art, I try to block out all the colors as quickly as possible. I try to cover up all the gray or white of the canvas that will help me establish like the, the kind of lighting and the mood that I want. Initially, the colors are kind of washed out. I try to keep the color palette a bit more muted towards the beginning and increase the saturation as I go along. I had the opportunity to take a lot of photos of waterfalls lately and on one of my trips, I took a few of these really beautiful waterfalls and I wanted to paint one of them. And when I thought of these waterfalls, um, the artist that comes to mind is Sing Jong Hoon. They're a Korean concept artist that also likes to paint backgrounds. And those are so colorful. I just feel like that style would fit this subject matter so well. In addition to the pretty landscape, I wanted to add like a human element to the painting. And my main idea to achieve that is to add like a plein air artist just taking in all of the landscape and trying to recreate the magic that's um, in front of him. I'm holding off on painting the dude and uh, the whole artist setup in front because I'm, I'm just not very comfortable painting characters. I don't usually do it. I'm more of a landscape artist. So yeah, I'm really procrastinating on that. Like with most of my digital paintings, I'm working with just very few brushes. The main brush that I'm using to paint this is um, one made by Ate Gailan. I really like this brush. It has the right amount of texture and I'm still able to get the um, hard edges with it if I press down hard enough. The other brush that I use is an airbrush and that helps me get just very even or gradual changes in the light and shadow. It's my go-to brush when it comes to shading, but I use it sparingly because if you overuse it, it can make the illustration look very digital and I like to keep the painterly quality to my, to my art. Here you can see that I made some huge changes to the painting. Um, I removed the two giant logs that are in the middle of the, of the, of the landscape. I felt like it didn't really fit the theme. Like uh, you can see that the trees in the surrounding area are mostly birch trees and those logs seem to, they just, they just don't seem to fit in. So I replaced them with these white um, birch trees and I feel like it fits the theme better. And if you were wondering where I got the idea for these birch trees growing out of the water, I actually saw a photo of a lake somewhere, and this lake is called Kindy Lake, I believe. Um, and the scene is just these birch trees growing out of this gorgeous blue water. It's very pretty.
I could think of um, a bunch of other cool concepts to add to this painting, but sometimes I think it's best to just stick to one or two, one or two main ideas. So for this painting, that would be a, like this, uh, the blue, the very blue turquoise colored water. Um, and the second concept is like the birch trees. Adding any more would just dilute the impact of the previous two ideas and um, I think it's just better to ha let those ideas have their own painting instead. You probably have noticed by now that I'm working on the entire piece as a whole evenly. I don't really like to tunnel vision onto one specific portion of the painting. I think uh, whenever I used to do that in the past, and it usually ends up in a lot of wasted time because if I render a specific portion of the painting to be very highly polished, then I'm kind of forced to match the same level of polish for the rest of the painting. So um, just by working on everything evenly, I don't hold the rest of the painting to um, a very high standard, if that makes any sense. But of course, that's just what works for me. Everyone has their own way and their own process, so do what works for you. As I progress through the painting, the size of my brush is getting smaller and smaller. That makes it easier for me to draw or paint in the, the smaller shapes and also to do you know, the subtle shading that's required in the more distant objects. At this point, most of the main bits are already in place. I'm just doing the details and um, shading all the flatter parts of the image. I still make one big change towards the end though, and that's um, in the waterfall in the distance. Usually it's a bad idea to change the composition this late into the painting, but um, something about the waterfall just bugs me and I had to change it. Now all that's left is to paint this mini painting within the painting. Uh, I actually had a lot of fun trying to figure out what the landscape will look from the artist's point of view. As you can see, the horizon line is much lower in, the, in their canvas. I didn't try to be like, too accurate or anything. It was just really fun to do this little uh, zoomed out version of it. And with some final tweaks to the contrast and the colors of the picture, uh, we're pretty much done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if um, there's any specific kind of content you want me to cover in the future. Do you prefer that I um, talk about my process behind the painting or if you would like me to speak uh, on a sp certain topic? But regardless, you can expect me to post at least one digital time-lapse painting video every month. And on top of that, I'll, I'll see if I have extra time to do some traditional painting as well. And yeah, thanks for watching again. If you like the video, like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. I also have a Patreon page and if you decide to um, support me there, I, I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.